Hi, it's Melissa from Kiwi Banana and today I'm going to be talking about a topic that could be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you, so if it's not your kind of thing, you can turn off at any time. However, some of you may be interested and may have to um, deal with this yourself on a monthly basis and I'm going to be talking about, um, obviously, menstruation and how you capture that um, every month so that it's not going through all your clothes. <laughs> And I could have done this video quite a while ago, but I really wanted to actually give this um, type of menstruation product a real good go for, actually I've been using it now for definitely over a year. And that is a, otherwise known I guess, is a menstrual cup and um, comes in with a, like a little bag. And the brand that I use is the Lunette one, which is um, Vegan Society approved. And I'll get into the reasons of why you'd want a, um, a vegan one later on in this video. And so today I'm going to talk about the reasons why I would prefer a menstrual cup over a tampon and also even pads. So I guess some people um, don't like putting things inside the vagina. But um, so if in that case, then maybe this might not be for you. But if it's not something that bothers you, then a menstrual cup is going to be, be probably be a lot um, better than a tampon. Now, the, um, one of the top reasons, I guess, for a lot of people around the world that are, um, especially those that are on the lower socioeconomic um, band, one of these is definitely going to be a lot cheaper um, to purchase than having to consistently keep buying um, tampons and pads every month. Um, you pay, I guess you could say, a reasonable amount of money for it to start with, but they can last up to 10 years. And if you think about if this is occurring every month, and I don't know, maybe you spend five or ten dollars or whatever it is on um, on sanitary products um, for your menstruation, and you times that by twelve, and then times that by ten years, it's definitely going to be a lot more than the cost of uh, buying um, the cup. I have also seen a few places online where you can buy one of somebody. Maybe they're a um, how do you say it? they're a seller of those products, and they sometimes even donate. Um, when you buy one, they may donate to someone who uh, financially is in need of something like that. Another reason why I prefer this over the other sanitary options, especially those that are single-use ones, and that would be because it is a lot friendlier on the environment. Yes, it does take some sort of resources to obviously make the product, and you know it comes normally in a cardboard box, and you know, and there is a material cloth that it comes in as well. But with the single-use products, there's a lot more materials that go into that. And of course, you're consistently buying them quite a lot throughout a year. And that all adds up over time. Now, another reason that I would consider the menstrual cup to be better is especially way better than a um, tampon is because it's much better for your vaginal environment. So inside there, when you've got um, the other sanitary products inside the vagina, it can actually be absorbing a lot of um, other moisture and things that your body would normally have in there. So it can interrupt, I guess, the vaginal environment. I'm not a scientist, so I couldn't get that in depth about it. However, I probably could leave some information for you um, if you wanted to look more into that in the um, description box down below. Now, also another thing that um, comes with tampons that doesn't come with menstrual cups, which is great if you're going for the menstrual cup, and that is that there is no fibers. So the cup's just made out of silicone. And um, if when you're putting fibers, things that are made out of fibers other than in, the, um, in your vagina, that's not good for the environment. And even with the pads, that's not good. Um, even though it's just on the outside, it's sitting very close um, to... Um, to obviously the vagina. Now also there's been no research done to date to say that um, or to, to conclude that menstrual, menstrual cup, cups have um, any correlation with the toxic shock syndrome that can occur obviously there's been cases in the past where um, people can get that syndrome from um, using tampons and sometimes using and using the tampons should I say not changing them as frequently as maybe as was advised on the box. So with the menstrual cup, you can leave it in there for up to 12 hours, which is quite a long time, and it means you don't have to um, get up during the middle of the night to, to change those sort of things. 
um, but you may want to change it more frequently than that depending on your flow obviously and um, they do come in different sizes too so you might want to check out what size is going to suit you because um, we all have different size um, cervixes and um, our vaginas are all a little bit different when it comes to those things. Now another um, positive of having the menstrual cup over a tampon and uh, pads is that there's no things like bleaches, there's no like deodorants, it's you know it's it's made out of like non-allergenic um, silicone and silicone is um, can be easily found in many places around the world so it's not a I guess if you want to look like a resource it's not a resource that's going to um, be running out anytime soon so you don't really want to be putting um, those kind of things inside um, your body those things like the deodorants and um, and the bleaches and the stuff like that it's really not the sort of thing that you really want to be putting up inside your inside yourself if you can avoid it um so the other big one i wanted to talk about is that um with the lunette one there is no um animal testing done on this one and so it's all made from um you know plant-based ingredients and you know no animals are harmed in the production of them because there's been a lot of cases um where people have found out that certain brands of menstrual cups have been tested on animals and that um, for years, they have been testing on animals with uh, with tampons and pads. There's some terrible, terrible cases where, um, obviously, you know, it's really hard to listen to. You don't really want to know about it, but, you know, some, I guess you could say, re scientific research will involve actually putting these things inside animals and then sewing them up, um, which is a really, really cruel. And um, I'm not going to dive too much further into that because I don't want to leave this... Um, video on a super negative note I want to empower you to go out and buy something like this for yourself the other thing I wanted to mention is that it's um, quite gentle on sensitive skin too so uh, it's not something that I suffer from personally myself but I do know um, other friends that do and so you shouldn't have any problems with that sort of thing as well um, so, you know, I'm not um, paid to, to sponsor the, the Lunette Cup. The reason I, I name the brand is because I know that some of them are, are vegan and some of them are not necessarily vegan. So I would encourage you to go out and get a, a vegan menstrual cup. Um, if it means you might have to save a little bit of money for a number of weeks or whatever, then I think it's worth that. And then you're not having to consistently keep buying, um, you know, pads and tampons um, regularly every month. Um, so yeah, that's that's my benefits that I want to um, to let you know about the my choice of a menstrual cup. I'm not saying that that you have to, but uh, you may want to consider some of the things that I've just spoken about. And you know, if you have one yourself, and you know it's a vegan one, um, let us all know in the comment section down below what one you've got, so that everyone else um, can see the variety. And if you know of any places where you can go to get them, especially if they donate them to other people that need them as well you know girls that are in need then um then that would be much appreciated in the comment section down below and you know i will see you in the next video